Today, I am going to explain a Japanese science fiction thriller film called AI Amok. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Kosuke Kiryu is a brilliant scientist from Japan who has developed an advanced AI called Hope for medical purposes. His main motive for all the hard work he has put into the AI is his wife's cancer treatment. If the technology is approved by the government to be used in the medical sector, it will not only save his wife's life, but will be a revolutionary step in human development. At the beginning of the movie, Kiryu is in his lab working when his brother-in-law, Satoru Nishimura, comes to him with some paperwork. It turns out that the government has refused to endorse the use of AI because of the absence of relevant jurisdiction. In the following scene, Kiryu, his wife, and Satoru are on a beach with Kiryu's daughter, Kokoro. His wife is in the last stage of cancer and needs immediate help from the AI. Although Kiryu invented the AI, he and his wife refuse to use it illegally without proper authorization. The family takes a picture together at the beach. A few days later, Kiryu's wife is on her deathbed. She passes away after saying that she hopes the AI will one day bring joy to many people's lives. If it had been approved in time, Kiryu could have saved his wife. A year after her death, the medical AI system is approved by the government and distributed among the people. Not long after, it starts being used in every sector, like law, finance, entertainment, and most importantly, medical. Because of the technology, cures for several diseases are found. In only a few years, Kiryu's achievement is belatedly celebrated worldwide. His brother-in-law, Satoru, becomes the president of Hope, managing it overall. After fulfilling his wife's dying wish, Kiryu doesn't want to live in Japan anymore, so he and his daughter move to Singapore. The popularity of Hope rises exponentially when a personalized watch that takes care of one's health is introduced. Now, people do not have to go to the doctor to be diagnosed with problems like brain tumors and cancer. What fun! Who wouldn't want their watch to tell them they have a brain tumor? Although most of the world celebrates the new invention, there are some who believe that it will cause the problem of unemployment to rise exponentially. Many people protest against hope, but it has become indispensable to the lives of most Japanese citizens. In 2030, Kiryu and Kokoro are living in a beach house in Singapore. However, Kokoro misses her mother a lot and desires to return to Japan. One day, they get a message from Satoru saying that the president of Japan wants to award Kiryu for his achievements. Taking the opportunity, the father and daughter fly back to Japan and are surprised to see several protesters outside the Hope headquarters. They are welcomed by Satoru and the entire company with a round of applause. Following that, they are given a tour of the building. They get to see the server room where the heart of Hope is kept. It is a massive machine that serves as the core motherboard of Hope. The place is tightly secured because the machine is connected to the lives of every Hope user. Two drones from the heart recognize Kokoro using their face scanning feature. Following the tour, a press conference is held to welcome Kiryu and for him to talk about his invention. During the conference, the protesters manage to break in and interrupt Kiryu while he is talking. Following that, Kiryu meets a police officer named Sakuraba. Sakuraba has been bothering Satoru to let the police department use Hope to hack people's personal belongings and solve crimes. Since it would be a breach of people's privacy, he has been denied the Orwellian request. For once, the stalkers are being shut down. On his way out, Kiryu is followed by a journalist who is clearly against AI. He hands Kiryu his card, claiming that he wants to interview him. When Kiryu and Kokoro are in the car, the little girl notices that she has lost the only picture of her mother. She runs inside with the staff to look for it, while Kiryu and a girl drive to the convention where he is being awarded by the president. Kokoro and the others go to the server room to look for the lost picture. Meanwhile, in several different hospitals in Japan, hope suddenly starts to malfunction. Many patients die because of the lag, while the medical workers panic, not knowing what is causing it. Somewhere else, the president is preparing for the program, but she suddenly drops to the ground. It turns out that her heart pacer also ran on hope, which has stopped working. She is rushed to the hospital, but to no avail. The automated driving system that uses Hope also malfunctions, causing several accidents. As Hope stops working throughout the nation, Satoru and the engineers in the headquarters are informed. They run to the control room to find out what is wrong with the program, leaving Kokoro alone in the server room. Because of the breach in the system, the security lock is activated and Kokoro is locked in. 
The news makes it to the TV, and Kiryu also finds out about the malfunctions. When he calls his brother, he is even more worried to see Kokoro locked alone in the server room. With time, the room's temperature will drop below zero for the machines to cool. They have to bring her out before she dies of cold. The programmers at Hope get to work and find out that there has been a strange login to the protected server, which supposedly caused the malfunctions. They locate the area where the hacker is and send little insect-like filming devices to the location. Meanwhile, a worried Kiryu is stuck in traffic. He opens his bag and finds a tablet that is uploading the virus to Hope. Just then, the police locate him and arrest him for being the hacker. It is clear that someone is trying to frame him, but Kiryu has no way to prove it. Just then, a car accident takes place nearby that distracts the police, and Kiryu manages to escape. Throughout all of this, the journalist from earlier is taking his pictures from a car behind him. With the suspect escaping, Sakuraba and his team are given the responsibility to catch him. Taking the opportunity, Sakuraba uses the Hope AI program to look for Kiryu without waiting for permission. So much for the AI malfunctioning, I guess. Two officers named Godo and Asano are also added to the team to help them. Godo doesn't feel comfortable seeing Sakuraba invading the public's privacy to look for Kiryu. Using CCTV cameras, cameras from people's dashboards, and even cameras from people's mobile phones, Sakuraba is able to locate Kiryu. At one point, Kiryu realizes that he is being watched, so he enters the sewers. He calls Satoshi from there and tells him that someone is trying to frame him. The call is being traced, so Sakuraba and the team can hear them talking. Kiryu reveals that when he first created Hope, he made sure to program that it worked for human comfort and satisfaction. He believes that in recent years, someone has programmed Hope differently. That is why it has started to work on its own and not take human commands. The AI will soon evaluate citizens and terminate those it deems worthless. This puts the whole nation at risk of being killed by the AI. Just then, we see an infant in a stroller that is run by the AI. It calculates the overall medical bill that the infant might have to pay in its entire life, and deems it to be unworthy of life. Following that, the stroller activates yeet.exe and falls off the stairs. Elim- <laughs> Elim- <laughs> I can't read this line. Eliminating the baby. To stop the mass murder, a new program must be input to the server. After the call ends, the soldiers enter the tunnel and find Kiryu. He breaks his tablet so he won't be tracked. Sakuraba loses all stats about his location after that, and Kiryu, yet again, manages to escape. Gota and Asano get out of Sakuraba's control room. After hearing Kiryu talk to Satoshi, Gota believes that he is innocent. The two think from Kiryu's perspective and come to the conclusion that he will probably go to Hope's second data center in Sendai. Back in the headquarters, everyone tries to get Kokoro out of the server room, but they're unsuccessful. She lies in front of the heart, cold and scared. To reach the data center in Sendai, Kiryu boards a ferry hiding inside a truck. Gota and Asano also get on the same ferry. Kiryu had stolen a tablet from a person, which he uses to program. The police track the signals and find out his location. The officials at the ferry are informed and told to check everywhere for him. When they eventually find him, he makes a run for it and ends up on the top deck. Gota and Asano tell him they are there to help, but before he can reply, a sniper from a helicopter fires at him. To save his life, Kiryu jumps into the water and disappears. A while later, he opens his eyes and finds himself on a boat in a harbor at Sendai. A local fisherman has saved him from drowning. He says that he is thankful for Hope because it saved his wife's life and lets Kiryu go. Meanwhile, many protests against Hope are being held throughout the country. Kiryu has been declared a terrorist by the media. In Sendai, Kiryu goes to an abandoned university that was the place where he first invented Hope. He is soon joined by Satoshi. It turns out that when they talked on the phone the last time, he used a code word to call him there. Gota also debunks the code word and drives to the university with his partner. Kiryu and Satoshi start writing a program to stop the destruction being caused by Hope. The computer scans every citizen of Japan who uses AI and plans to terminate them according to their past. It will take exactly six hours for the mass murder to begin. The engineers at Hope headquarters also find this out and start calling their families to ask them to stay away from their AI devices. Kiryu then figures out that no one had hacked the program and the virus was manually planted in the heart. 
On checking the heart's data for the past few months, they find suspicious activity. But on checking the CCTV footage, Kiryu is shocked. It turns out that Satoshi was the one who uploaded the virus. However, Satoshi denies the claims, saying that he was just doing a regular check and doesn't know what went wrong. Just then, the soldiers arrive at the hideout and fire at Kiryu. To save him, Satoshi jumps in front and gets shot instead. With his final breath, he begs his brother-in-law to save the people. Kiryu manages to escape yet again while being followed by the police. Goda and Asano also follow them in their car. Amidst the chase, Kiryu's car falls off the road and crashes several feet below. The police check for him in the wreckage, but do not find his body. Police officer Sakuraba uses AI and the CCTV to look for Kiryu and finds him, but when the police reach the location, the person turns out to be someone else. It is then revealed that Kiryu has bugged the police's AI system, causing it to malfunction. While they try to look for him, Kiryu manages to return to the Hope headquarters and meets the chief engineer who is willing to help him stop the massacre that is about to happen. However, Sakuraba and his team somehow make it to the headquarters and surround him. Kiryu tells the soldiers that the real culprit is actually Sakuraba. Then, he plays a video of Satoshi inputting the virus to the heart. It turns out that he was actually tricked by Sakuraba, who was standing outside the server room when it happened. Even though it is proven that Sakuraba caused Hope to malfunction, the soldiers still follow his orders. Sakuraba then says that Japan needs a powerful system to rule the world. With something like AI, he could have all the power in the world. As he confesses to all of his crimes, a flying insect-like device records their conversation and broadcasts it live to the entire world. The fact that Sakuraba didn't see this coming is incredible. Now, everyone knows the truth. Gota arrests Sakuraba and takes him away, while Kiryu runs to repair Hope and save his daughter. He programs the code and makes the heart scan it with Kokoro's help. He finally remembers its past and the reason for its creation. The door to the server room opens and the father and daughter reunite. Good thing it takes over a week for the computer's temperatures to drop. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.